That's all right. We're not. Oh, 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 hi there, hi there. Now, may we have our next contestant, please? Will you come in? <laughs> Will you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? Uh, my name is John Cage. I'm from Stony Point, New York. Mr. Cage, and he is from New York. Now, Mr. Cage is a musician. He is a composer. He teaches a course in music at the New School here in New York. And Mr. Cage, if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll show it to those folks out there, huh? All right. interesting and there must be more Squarely to our producer, Chester, in this event, we have a magnificent demonstration to make. Should we skip the game? It's up to you. It's up to me. <laughs> I'll go for it because I would like to have a discussion period open at the end of this. Mr. Uh, Mr. Cage, we're going to skip the whole game because yes. we won't have time yes. for what's to come. Yes. Yes. All right. I would like to tell you that Mr. Cage's secret is that he's going to play one of his musical compositions tonight. He is probably the most controversial figure in the musical world today, and when you will hear his performance, if you will forgive me, you will understand why. Uh, the instruments that he will use include a water pitcher, an iron pipe, a goose call, a bathtub, five radios all hooked up, and I, what is the latest status? Are they hooked? Are they working or not? Uh, I'll explain not this later. They're not. And a grand piano. Now, Mr. Cage, I know that you teach a course in experimental sound at the new school. Experimental music. Experimental music. Yes. Uh, will you tell us quite seriously whether or not you consider what we're about to hear music? No tongue in well, cheek, but seriously. No, perfectly seriously. I consider music the uh, production of sound. And since in the piece that you will hear I produce sound, I would call it music. You will call it music, all right? Now, lest you think this is some sort of a stunt, I would like to show you a review of a new album that Mr. Cage has made. This was in last Sunday's uh, New York Herald Tribune. It is not entirely uh, favorable. It says, however, on records, his weird sounds, bells, cymbals, prepared pianos, and electronic devices exert a surprising degree of charm and affability. Then it goes on to say that certain compositions of his are really a delight to the ear this is something that cannot be said of quite a few other of the Cage items. But the Tribune takes him seriously as a composer and this as a new art form. Uh, inevitably, Mr. Cage, these are nice people, but some of them are going to laugh. Is that all right? Of course. Uh, I consider laughter preferable to tears. <laughs> Nice man. All right, let's let's show the imp oh, a panel first of all, so we can get full scope for our cameras. Will you pull the desk back, please? <coughs> I'm sorry about the game, I have but I think the time idea. is more valuable. I have an idea about the radios. Instead of uh, turning them on as I have written to do, I will hit them every time I turn them on. I'm supposed to turn them on. Well, now let me say this: uh, the audience doesn't like know what we're to, talking yeah. about. Okay. Let me say this: that Mr. Cage has consented to play this composition not as it was written because a few hours before air time a jurisdictional union dispute arose between two unions as to who had the jurisdiction of plugging in the five radios. <laughs> it has not been resolved as of right now and so Mr. Cage has consented to do this provided I make the announcement that the two unions came to a dispute and couldn't settle. Well, I've decided to uh in, instead of turning them on, as I would normally, I will hit the top of each radio instead. That will produce a sound of some kind. Then when I turn them off, I will knock them off the table. <laughs> I'm with you, boy. All right, let's, let's see this instrument. <laughs> Great, thank you. That's it. The title of the composition is what, uh, Mr. Cage? Uh, water Walk, because it contains water and because I walk during its performance. 
That's figures, isn't it? Uh, now, also, two things I want you to notice. Over here, Mr. Cage has a tape recording machine, which will provide much of the... Will you touch the machine so we can know where it is? Which will provide much of the background. Uh, also, he works with a stopwatch. The reason he does this is because these sounds are in no sense accidental uh, in, their, uh, in their sequence. They each must fall mathematically at a precise point. So he watches his watch as he works. He takes it seriously. I think it's interesting. If you are amused, you may laugh. Uh, if you like it, you may buy the recording. John Cage and Walter Walk.